is another one of my experimental IR lights and I nicknamed this one the infrared and uh, it well first of all let's see this opens you can see it has uh, those reflectors glued onto the bulbs and it's got 20 20 of the two chip 5 watt 850 nanometer Epistar uh, LED IR LEDs in it <clears throat> it's kind of big <laughs> it's big like that and uh anyways it's uh it has this end on it to where I can plug it into the battery box like this one that I made that has a UB alarm battery that's a 12 volt 12 amp hour and I put this uh, this lighter attachment from Walmart on it and it can plug into that <clears throat> anyway <clears throat> can't run it a real long time because it total its total draw is like 60 watts <laughs> and it's uh, can be seen also by this camera which has a lens just has a cap over it <clears throat> and uh, okay anyway it's based on this circuit which I'll have to get over here so I can see if it'll show up which is the uh, LM1084 IT 12 volt uh, adjust, adjustment type the positive and uh, anyway so let's see that is the basic circuit and then uh, each one going to uh, four of the lights and uh, so they're all they're all hooked together uh, by this common rail for the positives going across there's like five of them hooked together and it goes down and it, there's also a fan the 12 volt fans like a hundred milliamps and then you got like that end piece that I showed a while ago it's got a handle like five amps the 12 volt and the thing about that circuit <coughs> is that you can run that circuit uh, in a vehicle whether it's turned on or off it doesn't affect the circuit whether the battery is being charged by the alternator or not and that's why I picked that circuit in case I wanted to run it out of a vehicle and uh, each one of these is the same circuit same parts and everything and uh, the capacitors are tantalum by the way on that's just abbreviated on there they're both the uh, the 10 UF tantalums and then you got a 120 ohm fixed resistor in a uh, over here's a 5k pot is on each one and uh, that's set to be uh, 6.5 volts out and that gives about a thousand milliamps to each uh, series wired for LED lights and there's 20 in all on that whole circuit uh, anyway so let's see I guess that's it on that part <laughs> that's all I can think of all right and this is uh, my my big floodlight that I made with the it's a, got an actual 10 watt light output uh, of the 20 of the 850 
those 5 watt uh, high powered LEDs and that's looking across the room and uh, that's that table at 10 feet away from it and the whole room uh, this is all the way behind the light the, the whole room is lit up ceiling is up there everywhere it don't spread out quite as far as it did when it, before I put reflectors on it but it goes a whole lot further anyway that's what it looks like in a house it lights up an entire room from one central spot um, just wanted to do that part there that's it is it running? okay man the house is bright as hell from 30 okay 31, 32, 33 Three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, forty, still bright. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, still bright as hell. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, five, six, seven, forty eight, forty nine, sixty, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, sixty, still bright. Sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four. 5, a hundred feet on seeing the house. It's pretty dim, but yeah, I can see it. Basically, mostly the windows, though. So, yeah, that's about its range on something reflective. <laughs>